Hello my YouTube friend, this is Nar Mechanic here and today I'm working on a Nissan Altima and I am doing the the rear brakes and what you're gonna need is first you're gonna need I'm using uh the Earthquake XT to take out the lock nuts and these are 21 millimeters. I'm gonna be taking out those out first. You're gonna need brake cleaner, but you're gonna need also some brake caliber grease. I have a breaker bar just in case. I have a screwdriver to put the um the caliber in. I have a wire brush to clean, and I have a, a rag, <laughs> my socks, my dirty socks. So what I'm gonna be doing first, I'm gonna be taking the lux nuts out, and I'm just gonna take a few. I'm gonna finish taking them out, and I'll be right back. The next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna jack up your car. You're gonna use jack stand. I'm gonna put the jack stand now. Make sure you do, you don't only use the jack. You also want to use the jack stand. And I'm gonna be putting it in the bottom. Right now, make sure you use both. Make sure um, you use safety. I got gloves on. I got glasses on. And I'm ready to go. I'll be right back. Okay, my friends, I took the tie off. Now you're also going to need, I forgot to tell you, I have a, this is the one half ratchet with a 14 millimeter socket and the 14 millimeter is going to be for right here. But first I want to just show you, since I couldn't find a nice spot to, to jack up the car, so I jacked it up right there in the frame and I put the jack stand over here, make sure you have the jack and the jack stand in order you know before you do this before you do this job here you don't only want to use I know I said it before but I'm I gotta express this because I see a lot of people out here just using the jack and they don't use a jack stand so for your own safety always use a jack stand I'm gonna put this in a tripod and the first thing I'm gonna do you know what I don't need to put in a tripod I have a a 14 millimeter um bow here and a 14 millimeter down here. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on the top one. I'm gonna take both um, take both of them out. The reason why I'm taking both of them out is because I wanna grease all this up because you see how dusty it is. You know what, before I do that, I'm gonna push the piston in a little bit with a screwdriver in order for it to be much easier for me for when I take the caliber off. Let me see if I can do this with one hand so what you want to do put the want to put it right here and then oh, sorry about that there you go just want to push it a little bit that's what I just did I just pushed it a tiny bit for when I take it out it'd be much easier for me so now I'm gonna take out this 14 millimeter nut in the top right here and this other 14 millimeter nut right here I'm gonna put it in a tripod and show you everything I am doing so the first thing is put your caliber piston in put your screwdriver right in and what you want to do is push it <clears throat> there it goes you can also probably use your hand also to move it in there you go let me put it put this in a tripod and I'll be right back Okay, my friend, I got it in the tripod. So the first thing we're gonna do is we have to we have the 14 millimeter socket and the 14 millimeter um, bowl right here. We already pushed the caliper in. You wanna go? There you go. Loosen it up. Then you go to the bottom one right here. Same thing. It's a little dusty. And that's the reason why I wanna take everything off. And let me see, you see the bottom. There goes the bottom. It's another 14 millimeter. And <clears throat> these are the rear brakes on a 2015 Nissan Altima. And these are very easy to do. And you can do this at home. You can do this like easily. So now you're gonna you have two two bowls here, right? So you're gonna take I'm taking everything off. So I'm gonna take the top one off first. Make sure that they're both the same, but if you're not sure that if they're both the same, just put one to one side, and then 
push this down I'm gonna take the brakes out and you see how low these brakes are and all you have to do is just right here the caliber is not hanging it's right here in the, right in the um it's right here so it's not hanging so now you just take the brake pads you push them out now if you couldn't take them out push them out what you want to do is take a screwdriver and just pry it in right there out and push it out and that's it and these not that bad but this one is bad so it was uneven so I'm gonna grease it up I'm gonna take these things out of here too the metal hardware and you want to make sure you know where they go at but when you put the other one see okay what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this bow out also I'm gonna take it out because I want to put grease on it so, I want to put grease on it so I'm just gonna put it in the side and put it right here you don't want it to hang now you want to clean this area up you want to clean it up real good and I have brake cleaner and the brush so you just want to clean it up really good right here spray it first then you just want to take the wire brush and clean it really good there you go want to go inside what's up mama yeah you have to clean it because it's rust in there and you want the bricks to go nice and smoothly so you clean the rust see it right here my mother right here see these little gaps right here right in here it has four one two and then in the back and what you do you use a brush come in this side because i don't want this to blow on you you can watch from right there so what you want to do is clean it up and what you want to do you want to put some caliper grease in here now the best way to do is with a q-tip I don't have a q-tip on me and I don't want to create a mess so I'm gonna use my finger the old way but with a q-tip you put a little bit there here and we call it the 007 and if must need it all you do is just put a little bit there a little bit there a little bit there but we don't have the q-tips so what we're gonna do is once all this is cleaned up pretty good we're gonna use the hardware Mama, can you bring me the whole brake pads over here? Go get them. The whole thing, the whole pad. I got my daughter going to get the brakes. I forgot them over there. Thank you, baby. Watch your step there. So this is what she bought. She bought the um, Duralast Max. And it comes, it's a premium brake pads for exceptionally smooth quad stopping. She got some good brakes. Um, it comes with the hardware. I always recommend people change everything. Don't leave the same. And it comes with a lot of the hardware right here. It comes with the grease. I already had grease. I'll keep this one and I'll use my own grease. And there it goes. What we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is match them up. Make sure they're the same size. This one looks like it's a little bigger. So that's the reason why I think they got extra. Let's see. Let me keep looking in here. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. It comes, it comes in two sizes, just in case you have one side or another side. So these are the original size, a little smaller right here, and then they have the bigger size right here. I don't know if that makes a difference, but they have both of them. But I'm gonna use the same size it had, and that's this one. You see? And all you're gonna do is this. You're gonna take, you're gonna put a little grease in here. Once you clean it, like I say. You just want to put a little bit, just a little bit, okay, once it's that in there, you want to take this, and you can see how it goes, you can see the groove, and all you're going to do is just take it here, these two things right here, you see these things right here? These metal pieces that are sticking out, they go in between. 
So once you put it in, right? Oh, and also, let me just show you. This go in there, and this groove right here, these grooves. Let's see if you can see it. These grooves goes right in here. So it's very easy to put. You take it, you push it up. See it? Once that up, then you take the other one the same way. Same way. You're gonna take it, push it in. Hopefully you got to see that. So you see how I put them in? Let me just get you a little closer in there. See, grooves here and there. So what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna grease this up right here. Now, like I said, with a Q-tip it's much better because you don't have to make a mess, but I don't have it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit here. Make sure you don't get it in the caliper, in the rotor, excuse me. Okay. Now, and remember how you how you took them out. So now that you have them in there, we're gonna take this, the brake pad. Remember, they do not go like this. They go like this. In there, straight in like this. You could take a little bit of caliber grease, put some in the top right there. And what you're gonna do is just, you got a groove here. See it? You got a groove here and a groove here. And all you're gonna do, you're gonna put this one and this one in there. Just like that, right? And all you're gonna do, once you put them in, push them in. See how easy that was? You push them in. Now you wanna take the other one. Take the other one, put some more grease on it. A little bit of grease there. A little bit of grease over here also see that and you're gonna do the same thing you did you're gonna put it in the grooves and hopefully I don't block the camera and I can't I cannot see much I cannot see well because the camera is there but I'm gonna try to do my best and push them in there Okay, same thing, right through the groove. Okay, make sure they're in there, they're nice and tight. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is, remember this, we're gonna take, you know what we're gonna do first before we start doing all that? We're gonna push the, the caliber piston in. And I'm gonna show you what I do. You don't want this hanging. So, I take an old brake pad, the old one. I take the old brake pad, I put it in there. Hopefully you can see that I'm trying to do everything so you can see it. And all you're gonna do is take like this seat clamp right here. I'm gonna put it in and all you're gonna do is push that caliber piston in. Okay, hopefully you can see that. See that? And just keep. I'm gonna show you, when I'm closing it, I'm gonna show you how it's pushing in, you see it? See how it's going in? Push it all the way in. Once it's all the way in, loosen it up. Now, what I do, what I like to do, you see this area? See how dirty it is? I like to take my brake cleaner. Even though that the owner of the car is not gonna see what we're doing, but you wanna take pride on what you're doing. There you go, you clean it up for them really good. See that? You clean it up. Okay, once that clean, okay. You notice that the rubber fell from here. You see the rubber? Make sure that rubber is in there. 
and you want to put that rubber back in there okay so you're just gonna put it back in okay there we go make sure that's right in there and remember this one so what you're gonna do is I'm gonna put this right in okay there and that goes there see it now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this big bowl right here and I'm gonna put some grease and I'm gonna put it right in there I like to put a lot people put a little I like to put a lot because I want it to be and you're just gonna put it right in there the ball go back make sure it goes straight in there it goes put a finger tight first okay then you got the next one here's the, the one that goes in the top you also want to clean it up really good Grease it up nice. Eh, that might be too much. Just want to put enough in there. And all you want to do is go in there and push it in there. Whatever comes out, you just clean it up. There you go. Put it in there, turn it, finger tight. You just want to make sure that this moves freely on them. Okay. There you go. So they're not finger tight. So you're just gonna take the same ratchet, and I got a 14 millimeter socket, and I'm gonna start with the bottom. And I believe they said it's about 80 to 80 foot pounds to tie this up. I'm not really sure. Look at your owner's manual. All I'm gonna do is just do it tight enough. And just push. That's one. You want to make sure it's nice and tight for them. <clears throat> okay, that's good. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you pump the brakes. I'm going to show you the gaps that it has. You see how it's moving? Because it has the gap and the caliber is supposed to be pressed to the brake pad. So what we're going to do is, what I'm going to do is, sorry about that. I'm going to press the brake pads to put them together. You're going to, you want to do it at least between 10 to 15 times, you just want to make sure that you feel them nice and hard. Make sure this is moving freely. Make sure everything is nice and tight. Gonna pump the brakes and I'll be back. see once I pumped them you see how the, how the uh, caliber is touching the brake now and that's what you want to do you want to make sure you pump them you pump them until you feel them really hard I don't know how many times I pumped them but I think I pumped them about 10 times and that's it this is how you change the brakes on a rear brakes on a 2015 Nissan Altima if you like this video give it a thumbs up um, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. If you have any um, comments or questions, post them down below. Or you can contact me at nonmechanic101 at yahoo.com. That is nonmechanic101 at yahoo.com. Thank you for watching. Later.